Have you noticed that in our cultural discussions today, if you publicly express a biblical or conservative viewpoint, you often face not only disagreement, but actual denunciation as well. As recently as 2012, both Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton defined marriage as one man and one woman. Yet just five short years later, making such a public statement can earn you the label of hater from the likes of the Southern Poverty Law Center. Christian bakers and photographers who decline to provide their services for same-sex weddings are threatened with fines and imprisonment. The British newspaper The Spectator reported that pro-traditional marriage members of parliament had excrement thrown at their homes and threats made against their families. One member was hounded out of office because of his personal Christian beliefs on the matter, even though he had tried to keep it out of his public work. Upon his resignation, he said it was now impossible for a believing Christian to hold a prominent political position in British government. Much the same situation is developing in America. But lest we wonder where this is coming from and why it's happening so quickly, take note. These tactics are part and parcel of a dedicated Marxist agenda, one well expressed by former President Obama, who called for efforts to fundamentally transform our society. We must understand that these are code words of the radical left. They come straight out of Saul Alinsky's book, Rules for Radicals. Alinsky argued that ridicule is man's most potent weapon. Accordingly, we see cultural leftists in our day following the Alinsky playbook, pick the target, freeze it, personalize it, and polarize it. Since the left is unable to defend their ideas on rational grounds and are unwilling to advance them by democratic means, they resort to the tactics of the schoolyard bully. Their solitary goal is to intimidate all believing Christians into silence on issues like homosexuality, transgenderism, and marriage. But God's word anticipates this and gives us a different call. Yes, we are to expose the deeds of darkness, but as we do, the scripture exhorts us, have no fear of them, nor be troubled, but in your hearts, honor Christ the Lord as holy, always being prepared to make a defense to anyone who asks you for a reason for the hope that is in you. Yet do it with gentleness and respect, having a good conscience, so that when you are slandered, those who revile your good behavior in Christ may be put to shame. <music>